नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई एम श्योर एवरी एस्पेरेंट एवरी स्टूडेंट नंबर वन इज द कैट कैट एंड सी सी टी दीज टू एग्जामिनेशन यू हैव टू अपियर फॉर इफ यू हैव अपियर फॉर द कैट ट्वेंटी थ्री देन दैट स्कोर विल बी कंसिडर दैट इज अ स्टेज वन Hi guys, welcome to Manure. And today I am at JBIMS uh, to discuss about the MHRD program. So those who are seeking for this program, this video is very very important for you because in detail we'll be discussing about the uh, MHRD program. What are the exams you should appear for? What are the selection process, placement, fee structure, and etc. etc. Okay. So to discuss about this part, we have a door ma'am. Hello ma'am. Hello. So ma'am will be explaining you about the uh, complete process. Ma'am is the coordinator here for. the mhrd program and uh, she is here for since last 10 year yeah so it's long time okay so watch this video very carefully and share it to all your friends jitne log hr ke liye target kar rahe ho so along with the tss you can think about the mhrd program as well for the videos will be coming up uh, with regards to the mhrd program so watch that as well so ma'am starting with the first question please elaborate the history of mhrd program when it started and now it is how it is going on so uh, we always as jbms we are known for finance okay. and second is marketing but we thought that you know we should also focus on hr as a specialization and the thought came from our late beloved professor professor abelu okay so he was a hr faculty here and he had this thought in his mind that we should create a specialized course which focuses on making change leaders in the country okay so he was very instrumental in designing this program mm -hmm. and uh, uh, around 2018 2019 we conceptualized and we started this program. Okay. 2019 was our first batch. So 2019 was the first batch. Yeah. So now it is 2024. Yeah. So, so we have recently taken our fifth batch. Fifth uh, batch. Yes, the admissions we have done for the fifth. Batch. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. So uh, coming to the next question, why uh, should one target MHRD program at JBIMS? so generally when uh, students are there either they are not aware or they are not sure of which specialization they want to take or they are very clear in their mind that they want to go for hr specialization those who want to go for hr they generally target is accelerate otherwise generally students then appear for mms and then they decide whether they want to go for marketing hr finance etc but we have created this course specifically for students who are very clear in their mind that they want to create uh, you know a career or they want to make a career in hr okay so the the reason why this is you know different or i would say better compared to mms hr program and why should students opt for this program is because since start only from the day one from the induction till the end of the course you are put into you are first of all the hr uh, uh, you know students okay and uh, all the professors all the lectures all the you know uh, curricular and extra curricular activities will revolve around hr as a specialization okay. so there's a very focused learning that happens here okay and even though there are some general management subjects mm -hmm. but the focus and there's a lot of peer learning also then that happens because all okay. the students the mindset and we have a very small batch we started with a batch of 20 and now we have a batch of 30 so any chances that number of batch size of batches will increase possibly in future looking at uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, the way the industry responds okay. or the way the students response possibly highly likely that uh, <laughs> the course uh, the size will increase but we have always had this thought in mind that smaller the better because that creates a very closed uh, you know net of people mm -hmm. and that uh, the faculty student uh, interaction mm -hmm. the peer learning that's much better in a smaller batch compared to a bigger okay. batch of say 60 or 100 or 150 students okay, okay. next question is very interesting and i'm sure every aspirant every student who are who are targeting for the mhrd program must must want to know this question because there is a dilemma about this uh, selection process yeah. so what is the process of getting into the mhrd program at jbms yeah. so uh, in last when the course started we had our own entrance test and we had uh, in person assessment which had group discussion personal interview etc but this year onwards we have uh, you know 
change the process okay. and uh, all the details are available on our website and okay. for the upcoming batches also in due course of time all the uh, details will be available okay, okay so the process will have uh, you either you have to appear for cat 23 or uh, ct 24 ct 24 and once you have appeared for these two competitive examinations uh, the so cat number one is the cat cat and ct, CET. Cat these two examinations you have to appear for if you have appeared for the cat 23 yeah then that score will be considered here so if you haven't appeared for the cat 23 then you can appear for the ct 24 which will be there in the month of march so that is a stage one stage one so stage one will be qualifying exams which is either cat or cet so it is qualifying exam yes these are qualifying exams and uh, once you have appeared for these tests we will uh, open the digital application form so you can fill all your data basic details okay uh, work experience related education background okay related. so stage two is what registration process digital, uh, yeah registration process online registration process online it's so a digital application form on our website we will uh, so after CET result it will out yeah, after the CET results are out, we will create, uh, we will open the digital application form okay. based on your CET or CAT percentiles, uh -huh. you will have to apply and register great, for great, the great, admission great. Okay, so let's say candidate appeared for the CET or the C, uh, C CAT and uh, he qualified for the particular uh, uh, examination, but uh, after then there is a registration process, Correct. right? Then Correct. form will come on the website. They have to Correct. fill complete information. What what are their score? Correct. Correct. Because if you have not appeared for CAT 23 or CET 24, you will not be able to register for the application uh, admission process. So you have to. So that's a mandatory requirement that uh, you have to appear for these application two. ID and the, the score. Exams. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Application ID and the score. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. And after then, there will be a shortlisting process. Yes. So once you have registered and filled your complete details, we will internally shortlist uh, 300 students. Okay. 300 students will be shortlisted, guys. Yes. Okay. 300 students will be shortlisted based on the CET and CAT uh, percentiles. Okay. And we will call them for an in-person assessment. So, okay. So, so there will be IPA. In IPA. Person. That's okay. what we call it. Uh, okay. it's, it. It has three parts. It is There's a group discussion. There's a personal interview and there is a small written aptitude test. That's what we call it, VAT. VAT, okay. VAT. So, I think on the website, WT is also mentioned, writing test. Writing test we used to conduct earlier. So, it is now omitted? No, no, it is the, not there. Okay. We, you will just have to either appear for CET or CAT in order to apply for the course. Okay, okay. So, IPA will be there, I mean, group discussion, interview round and the WT. And WAT. WAT, WAT written oh. aptitude. Okay, VAT will be there. Yes, okay, VAT. so stage one is qualifying, stage two IPA will be there. Correct. Okay, which score will be considered for the final selection? So, in final selection, we will consider the CET CAT marks as well okay. and the IPA marks as well. Okay, okay, so okay. Both the marks will be equally considered. There's a 50% weightage to your qualifying exam score. Okay, 50%. And a 50% weightage to the IPA score. Okay, okay. So, stage one is guys 50%. Uh, weightage which is nothing but your CAT CT score okay and second is nothing but a stage 2 again 50% weightage which includes your IPA correct yes yes and after IPA uh, you will release the merit list yes we will declare the merit list okay in the I mean April this process will take how much time approximately so generally if the CET results let's say mid of April it will come out yeah so if April results are out maybe May we can consider as the time to fill the application form uh -huh. and then June we should be able to complete our uh, in-person assessment and that the declaration of result happens maybe within 8 days or 15 days of okay. the in-person assessment. 10 to 15 days of the in-person assessment. And after then you have to come for the documentation process and take yes, the admission. Yes, we are very particular about the document, especially because we are a uh, you know government institution and uh, uh, there are reservations also, 50% reservations. So okay. all the documents have to be submitted. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, in case of not, you know, if you are not able to submit those documents and unavailability, your admission can be cancelled as well. Yeah, so it will. The it can go on hold. Part, we do very stringent. So, document-wise, your mark sheet will be there. Your academic document. There's a list of document, and generally, we have all detailed instructions given in the PDFs forms okay, on okay. our website. Okay. So, anyone who's willing to apply should thoroughly go through all the documents that are listed. Okay, great. On the website. So next question is again interesting and students are curious to know about the placement of MHRD program. Yeah. <laughs> so we are in fact very happy the way the course has received response from the industry. 
uh, last year 2023 and other placement reports are available on our websites and social media pages as well uh, last time it was there was an average package of 18 lakhs per annum average was 18 lakhs yes okay and there was a highest i think around 26 if i'm not wrong Okay, okay. 26 lakhs. So okay. we have good consultancy companies also coming in and taking our students. Okay. And JB always has an advantage because we already have an alumni base and a placement, uh, you know, record in place. So they are also coming for so the same recruiters. Most of them are also, you know, okay. coming for the okay. HR program. Okay. So mainly consulting company, banking company, what companies are coming up? It's Although it is there on the official uh, website, yeah. It's it, there's a different uh, set of recruiters. It's not necessarily limited to just consulting or just banking. There are hmm. different companies that come mm -hmm. depending on the rare requirement and their, you know. Okay. Uh, okay. So there are many companies that come. Okay. Last question, ma'am. What tips you want to give to upcoming year aspirant? Those who are targeting for the MHRD program. So, since there's a 50 50 percent weightage to both CATS or CT and in person assessment, you have to be good at both. So, though we will have a you know a certain uh, because our MMS program has a 99.9 percentile cutoff, mm. but for generally MHRD, we keep it at a little lower. Last year, we kept it at 90 percent. Mm -hmm. So students who had appeared for CET and secured 90% even they were eligible to apply okay. but the eligibility does not guarantee admission okay. so you as high the percentile higher are your chances of getting into the course so first of all as far as written examinations are concerned work very hard because there's still time those who are appearing for CET uh -huh. you, you know so the higher the percentile the better because obviously obviously yes. chances of selection will be yes. higher side yes and for in person assessment it has three components group discussion also generally students have this understanding that you know uh, i should speak the most and then i'll get the admission that's not the case you have to you know there are various parameters in uh, uh, group discussion also you have to you have to listen to actively you have to be very you know you have to take the lead you have to come up with analytical uh, uh, viewpoints on the on the topic that's given to you and here in MHRD we have uh, we call them group uh, you know group activities and not group discussion hmm. so there's a problem statement that's given to you and you as a group you're supposed to come up with a solution to that problem so problem solving approach also has to be there so the kind of points you put forth how analytical you are how you know practical you are in those uh, perspective that also is counted so group discussion is there and in personal interviews also you know, uh, apart from there are so many parameters which are which are looked into. So prepare well on you know uh, who you are and why you are here. What is the purpose of joining an HR course? Why MHRD? Why JBIMS? Yeah. So all these are you know areas and uh, generally every student has a quality. Every student is good or bad at something. Be be prepared. Do your homework well before coming for an interview as to you know uh -huh. what are the characteristics or the traits about you that you want to highlight to the interviewer which might, you know, uh, find, uh, which the interviewer might find suitable, you know, where they will find you as a suitable candidate uh, in the course. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for sharing your, this, all this information. Last question uh, is still, uh, still is there. Uh, CAT 90 percentile, CT 90 percentile. Both can't be same because CAT is on the higher side. So I think students have this confusion. If my CAT is 90 aagya, or CT may be 90, aagya, hmm. so I will be eligible for this program. Or CAT can that 80, 70. So, so on the website, we will uh, we will very clearly state the eligibility criteria mm -hmm. that if your percentile is this this or above, like last year we had 90 percent for the open category, and it is category wise it is different as well. Okay. So if you are below that percentile, you will not be eligible to apply. But if you are above that percentile, you can apply. Mm -hmm. But then we have our own internal benchmarking where we compare these scores and we give them some weightage out of 100. Okay, okay. So eligibility does not guarantee or does not signify the mark your selection. That, uh, okay, yes. okay. That's all, guys. In this uh, uh, complete session, I hope you have understood complete process of MHRD program at JBIMS. Ma'am have explained very nicely complete process. And uh, still, if you have any doubt and question, please write in the comment section. I'll be happy to reply you and uh, start your CED preparation so that you can get into the JBIMS. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing complete information and uh, all the best.